Hello and welcome everybody to part 47 of the Elves of Lorien Third Age Let's Play. My, 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 part 47 already pushing on. But our final objective is in sight and thankfully the Elves of Lorien only need to get 35 settlements in total rather than the 50 that the Harad Let's Play requires. Although Harad, uh, in my recent part which went up before this video, it, we've made some impressive... Um, We've made some impressive conquests and progress towards achieving our objective. Also, I should say, if you were for some reason not on the internet yesterday and didn't see any of my Rome 2 footage from the Rome 2 uh, preview event in Rome on the set of HBO's Rome that I went to in uh, a couple of weeks back uh, in July uh, with the Creative Assembly, all my videos, the embargo is now over, all my videos are now up from that event, plus some gameplay footage. Uh, of both the campaign map for the prologue campaign and the and a battle from the prologue as well, the Romans versus the Semenites. It's absolutely awesome. Hopefully, I'll have some more content for you soon. I'm trying to get some more things organised for you, and I've still got plenty of videos and kind of um, outtakes from the Rome event anyway. So they'll be going up in future Hear Me Rules and what have you soon. Anyway, who have we got here? No, I don't know what top do you recruitment? Awesome. Ah, finally some more economic buildings. They're finally helping out our economy. Our economy is doing well even though we're now pushing some big armies out there. Which is awesome. And we're sending down these troops with Race Redron. Redron? Whatever. I'm going to call him Race. Just it works. And of course we've got these Eldar volunteers which look freaking awesome. Um, so we'll bring these guys down um, to Tharbad. And last time, yeah, we managed to recruit those dudes last time. Hello Gandalf, how are you? 32 years old, you're looking spry. Anyway, path blocked. So we've got this army that I'm bringing back to Tharbad to defend for now. Although we've just been besieged here by a small contingent of enemy troops. It's kind of choosing whether I can send some troops over there to help take it back. So we haven't got any archers. I don't have any agents to check how strong they are. Can't get down there for a turn. Uh, anything from Moria? No. Galadrim guards can be recruited there. I'm going to recruit all these guys from uh, Moria, though, to send down as reinforcements. I'm going to perhaps let that be taken. I will fight it out and see if I can defend, push them back, but I'm, I'm going to let that defend rather than pull troops from Tharbad, which needs to be defended and needs to be defended properly. Um, we will see, although I've just seen that army hovering up here. Who have I actually got back here? It's a general. Mm, I'll put one unit. I'll put these guys over here in Tharbad. Now I've got a reasonable archer force there just to hold. <coughs> excuse me. Just hold on to. Uh, ol gold Olag High here. I don't want to go up against them if I don't have to. We'll let them roam around for now. Um. Got my spy here, and I think I recruited another spy. Yes, I did. To push over here and have a look at uh, Oldberg, because I want to take as many of Rohan's lands as I can. I've got this Mordor force coming towards me, catapults, Morian guard, and what have you. Uh, so what I'm not going to push against these bandits. Actually, I'm going to hold here for a few turns and just see what Mordor does, because I may be able to get it. I don't know if the bandits, if we can have a three-way battle or not, but it might be interesting to see what happens. Um, that's holding for now. I've got it on low tax rate, so uh, Mordor isn't going for it. Putting these guys back to Dol Guldor because they need very much some replenishment. I could put these guys over here, but we've got plenty of Mordor forces here. I'm going to actually have a look for, at the Black Gate and to see what we've got coming from over here. Not too much. Um, we've managed to kind of stall their attacks, those two full stacks that came towards us. That has done quite a bit of damage. So Haldir is ready here. We've got Dunharrow to try and combat as well. So with Dunharrow, we've got Orc Maulers. I'm going to send the Galadrim Lorien Rangers. Infantry, one of these guys, and Haldir to attack Dunharrow with a ram and we're just gonna besiege these guys out until they come to attack us. Edoras is still quite capable for now. We're building the artist studio here. We still need more troops to come in. We, got, we can get Lorian Rangers from here now which is awesome. So obviously I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna retrain them. I don't know if I can rebuild them 
um, ret build more or whatever, but we'll see what we can do. Lorian Infantry, let's get them there. Isengard, we're getting the Galadrim Swordsman built here, and Celeborn's forces will restock up with some of those forces we're building in the surround. We'll replenish, and we'll replenish, we'll replenish. Karas Gladhorn, we built some more troops at. And we're still fine for the economy, and we're building some horse archers here. Those units I'm all going to stock together at Karis Gladholm, then we'll decide where we're going to move them. Um, I'm now at peace with these guys, which yes, is good. Um, Orcs of Gundabad, I Without think. Question. I'm still at war. As you wish. Yes. I'm not actually sure. Let's have a look. Yes, I am still at war with them. So let's see if we can make peace with them, because I don't really want to worry about them attacking Imladris or anything right now. We can push out a few more troops from Imladris to bring down to help defeat the, the wild men. So that's the plan there. So let's end the turn for now. I'm just going to kind of bring my troops back together, reform at Tharbad, see what happens at Austin Ed Hill. High Elves obviously getting in the mix. It's probably going to take a couple of parts now to get myself to a stage where I then... F you know, can strike back heavily at Dunlan, but I want to do it in such a way that once I do start striking back, it's it's literally in a turn or two, we just cripple them. Or in a part, I should say. So I want to push on those remaining territories. But they've got quite a few. They've got more than I thought they did. So I'm actually going to fight this, and we're going to see how the elves can hold. Few against many. We've done it before, but we've got no archers this time, which is normally the mainstay of the elven force, which does and has won my won me many battles. So we're going to see we're going to see how it goes. This could anything could happen. What we we will see. Um, right, let's start with one. So they've got a ram. So, in a way, I'm kind of thinking I want to let them in and then charge them with my infantry. Um, or do I want to just hold them at the gate? Possibly just want to hold them at gate. The power of the Lorian Spearman is quite substantial, so I think I'm just going to do that for now. Lorian Spearman, and then I can always engage with Lorian infantry through their ranks. So let's do that. Let's, let's fast forward as well, because it's quite a small, insignificant battle in terms of the forces that play. And to be honest, the settlement isn't that, you know, that vital. But um, I would like to hold on to it if I can. Also, uh, just a heads up, I'll have a video up early tomorrow morning, but I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow night, Saturday, the 3rd of the August. And I've currently got on my Facebook page, which is a link in my description, I've got a question on my Facebook page uh, as to which, what game I'll play, either War Thunder or some Sim City. So if you've got Facebook, go vote over there. If you don't have Facebook, uh, I'm afraid uh, it's just an easy question to put up on my Facebook page. So can't vote on that, I'm afraid, but you can feel free to suggest, you know, which one you'd like in the comments. We'll give me a a view, I should say, of uh, what people want to see. But it will be the votes on the question on the Facebook page that really count. But yeah, that'll be a tomorrow evening, Saturday evening, around about 7 or 8 p.m. UK time. Um, so my Lauren interview is not really doing too much, but I'm going to charge them... Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Actually, I am going to get them to charge in, sod it. I want to attack these guys. I want to get the Lorian infantry to start surrounding these guys as they come in. Building lost. <laughs> this is the huge push between who's actually going to get there or not. So I've actually got swordsmen, which are useful about taking down their clansmen, their spearmen. But they have charged him with some horsemen, which I don't have much defense about. Besides, obviously, my spearmen, my Lorian infantry are going to suffer there. Plus, they've got a few skirmishes. The cavalry is, are skirmishes, I think, yeah. Hey, something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. How many have we lost? We lost 12%, the enemy's lost 6 It's difficult to really work out what the best approach is because I've got so few troops, but at the end of the day I just want to kill as many of them as possible, which my men are doing. They're doing reasonably well there. 
Hoping the Spearmen can get these skirmishes down off their horses. Because the shift of power isn't too far out just yet. We've got a lot of my Mylorian infantry forward through the Spearmen's rank dealing with the enemy Spearmen. It's just to seeing how well my Spearmen are holding up, dealing with some of the cavalry and holding these guys. A lot of their forces, they're now flooding in with another wave, tribal axemen. It may just be their, their numbers are too much for my elves to handle at the end of the day. Because I think these guys are slightly better than the standard orc rabble they're used to flaying at the moment. More accustomed to facing off against Isengard once again. 22% versus 17%. We are kind of catching the gap. I'm watching these skirmish cavalry. I don't want them to get too far around on the flank. But this Lorien Spearman is holding on the flank at the moment. We're trying to bring down some more of the cavalry. He's felled his friend there. Dealing with the clansmen. 20% versus 26 Not going to be many of these guys left, as I said, but just killing as many of these guys as possible right now, that's the most important thing. Because I'm building plenty of new troops at um, Moria. Oh, damn, my general. We've killed the enemy general. There we go. At least it wasn't a proper general. But yeah, they're pushing forward with the Shovel Axemen, which may well wreck the pathfinding if they just force their way through my units. It's good. That's going to be what's going to finish them off. We are closing the percentage gap of men killed. It's 4% in it at the moment. 5. <laughs> oh, back to 4. Um, I'm not going to watch the numbers go up and up and up. They're trying to force through with their cavalry now. And I don't know how many spearmen I've got there. I think it's mainly swordsmen that are out up front. And obviously they've got plenty of men behind that. My elves are trying to hold me. They've managed to spread out wide enough to hold the majority of these guys in. And the hot, the near enough the entirety of the enemy is in. There's not going to be another big push now. It's just going to be dealing with what units are there. But we obviously got that morale hit from losing a general. But we are closing the percentage gap. There's 2-3% in it at the moment. And suddenly their men have started pulling back a little bit. They've now gone in for another attack. The cavalry are trying to force their way through now. And a couple of them are making it through, but I don't know if that's having too much an effect because I've got plenty. I've actually got kind of like, it's a couple of ranks deep here. So the spearmen are actually able to turn around and sort of spear jab these guys down. 2% in it of what we've lost. I mean, I had 180 men, so I've lost nearly 50% now. I've lost 50% now. Um, so, what? I've got 90 men left. Um, as you can see from the unit cards. But the enemy had over 600. So, you know, they're down to 300 now. And my elves are still holding. And we're getting very close. 1% in it now. And those clansmen that had sort of 100 and 100 odd of them are now getting whacked down we've both lost generals it's only going to take a small morale break to you know really push us back we're nearly even on the percentage of kills that's whether my elves can hold but we've got them in pulling some of them back here it's going to be when my infantry start collapsing and make, basically making holes in the line which we're getting a little bit here in the middle and they are starting to get around us on the left flank as the line has got thinner and thinner and we're unable to catch up with them but as I said we're going to be able to kill as many of them as possible that's that's a good result in my books because it's going to be incredibly easy to retake uh, the following turn And I should say, we still haven't, I'm going to fast forward it a little bit, we still haven't met our um, thousand like target on part 43 of this Let's Play series to gain 
a one hour special but what I'm going to give you guys is if uh, by next Tuesday it hasn't reached a thousand likes on part 43 but there should be a link to the, in the description to that part anyway so you guys can go like it if you want we've broken some of them this could be the beginning of the end for them um, if we can hold on just a bit longer but yeah if we haven't hit it by Tuesday Tuesday's part will be a one hour special anyway um, because there was another one hour special that I planned ages back I think it was part 32 or something and we got to about the same number of likes we're roughly at now, which is about 700 odd. And we didn't get any further from then. So I, I'll kind of take that as you guys got me 1,500 likes across the two. And from now on, I'll make the like target slightly smaller for this series. But other series, 1,000 seems fine. You guys get there in the appropriate sort of amount of time. But as I said, the kind of the, hunt, the one hour specials are kind of not meant to be, you know, so regular that they're common. They're meant to be kind of special rare things which is why I, I do put high targets for the likes um, but yeah if you want to see a one hour special of the Elves of Lorien let's play link in the description you know where to go send it to your friends what have you we've really done a lot of damage to these guys I'm not sure if we've got enough men to really finish the, them off now we've broken quite a lot of them notably the clansmen have been broken which have the highest number of troops still I think so it's mainly dealing if we can deal with the rest of this cavalry and spearmen I really don't know. I'm going to fast forward again through a little bit more. Need some like Benny Hill music. I think, you know, my infantry have been killed and it's down to the last of my spearmen now. But we've killed 79% of them. Well done to my elves. They did well. We held them off long enough to absolutely decimate them there so I will I will take that we inflicted a lot of casualties between my men against a vastly um, vastly larger army in relative terms at least so yeah plenty plenty of links and things for you guys to check out this part um, when isn't there but uh, yeah it should all be for your future enjoyment anyway so uh, if you do that be really appreciated but yeah, I'll, I'll reward you guys with a one hour special anyway on Tuesday if it hasn't reached its like target. Just because I'm a nice kind of dude. And I know a lot of you want to really, really see one hours of elves. Come on, Orcs of Gundabad. I'm coming to parlay with you. Harad, how be you? I think that'd be a pretty cool feature in perhaps like um, maybe a feature total war game if they could have a feature where you could play various factions in a campaign but if you wanted to like either if you want to play as a different faction you could play it within that same campaign so like right now I'm obviously doing an Elves of Lorien um, let's play and a Harad one how cool would it be if the if I could swap from Elves of Lorien on this this map this setting all the events that have happened on here have happened uh, and I could switch to the Harad faction that's in this let's play I think that'd be a pretty cool f like feature. Like if you saw a faction was about to die, you could give yourself the challenge of switching to that faction and seeing if you could rise it back up from the depths and perhaps challenge your uber faction, which has been killing them. Um, I guess that would really make ex quite extensive sandbox play. Like you'd be playing for ages. But um, I think that'd be fun. Would you let me let me know what you guys think about that sort of feature? Um, I think it'd be pretty cool. And I, I don't see why it wouldn't be too difficult to implement, like just basically handing over control from AI to obviously human. And look, we've finally got those Galadrim Swordsmen. I will be sure to put them to good use very soon because we're going to be striking back at uh, the Men of Dunham. We're going to hit their, their territories back here, which is, well, obviously that one's quite nicely defended, but we're going to hit this one here, uh, Talsa, and then bring it down and then perhaps push up here as well. But I need a few of my dudes need retraining, which we can do here. Uh, let's add a mining network to Isengard into the mix. So that's just quite a considerable upgrade. And uh, let's recruit some more Lorien, Archers of Lorien. And then we can start replenishing some of these guys. We've got dudes over here, building. That's all good. What, what, what's happened here? We've got Mordor coming out with a small force. And that army with the Oleg High and what have you have come out to attack us. So I'm going to consolidate all my forces at Edoras. I'm going to lift the siege. I want to stay at Edoras for now. It's, it seems more worthwhile to do that. 
we've now got the um where is it? I think I've got the Dano. A thieves guild. Um we've got the artist studio, here we go. So we're increasing the culture bonus by two each turn, I think. Um why am I yawning? It's like the middle of the day. What up with that? So we need to slowly decrease Sauron's one, Sauron's influence and what have you. Uh and, and everything there, and then we're we can stop pushing out. Because we've actually got army barracks and stuff which can quite easily and Practice Rangers, which can pump out some great units from here. Because this obviously was once a former capital, a main building. Okay, so we've got Mordor coming up towards us. I'm going to keep besieging these guys because I want to see how it interacts. It may well screw Mordor up. Plus, I reckon I might actually be able to have Mordor with my, with my Archer strong army. Plus, I'm going to bring these guys down now. Oh, I've got cavalry still waiting. Damn it. Well, I'll put some more spearmen in to recruit. Actually, no, I'm not. Yes, I will. Spearman underrated. So let's bring these guys down to here. The cavalry should be able to catch up. Bring these guys in. So plenty of reinforcements will bring them down. We can always pull back, regroup, and then push back out. And I've got this chap over here to bring back to Dol Guldord. He's slowly going to get back so he can replenish and retrain. Looks like Mordor's sending out an army towards Malgalad to recapture. It's only force that's going down there. I'm wondering, I think they're going to get there. No, they're not. I'm wondering how far I can push with these guys. I'm, gonna I'm not sure Mordor's a threat from like up here at Thorenberg right now. I could put a small force into Malgalad and try and hold on to it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to risk it. I'm going to risk sending these guys down here as a small force to try and hold it. Because this army's not going to get there in time. We'll be there next turn. And we can recruit another one of these guys in a few turns. Why should we rec recruit him now? And I'll just cancel this chap here. No, I can't. I'll just make spearmen then. <laughs> there we go. So we've got unit building there. That's fine. We're all good up over here. We're bringing the volunte Elven me. volunteers. The Eldar volunteers. So let's end the turn again. And see what happens. Oh, my diplomat. I forgot about him. Oh, it's an army of Arnor there. We've bumped into High Elves parlaying with my general over here. And what of Dunlin parlaying, perhaps for peace. Let us yes, they want a ceasefire. Um, no. Um, well, actually, make out. We'll offer that if they give me. Oh, no, I don't want to offer. I want to make a demand. If they give me this, I will accept or we attack trade rights and map information. Never. Do you think us foolish and meek? We hope yes, you are foolish and meek, and I will annihilate you. Future. What do you think you're doing? So, here we go. Construction port coming in. Have the crop rotation built. Smashing, which should be again an improve to our funds. Yes, we're building more troops, so it's obviously going to increase our upkeep, but we're doing well at the same time. Relations worse, worse than rather. Um, well, of course, they're going to be. So, where's Mordor gone? Oh, they've just kind of skipped past me because we're going to take this in a turn, they're just going to have to surrender. So, let's try and find out where Mordor's army went. Oh, it's gone over here. That's interesting that they've done that. This force round here, we're going to beat you to Malgalad. We've got back in. We can actually raise them off normal rate. I'm not going to put Town Watch in there just yet. These guys, I'm going to try and save my money now because it's going to cost a lot to replenish these guys. We can get Sylvan volunteers, which are, thinking about it, they are worth it. So I'm going to employ these guys because they're good units to have in there. They're good infantry. Um... You know, they're 
they're reasonable. They haven't got the veterancy of these guys yet, but they're pretty much just as good. So we've now bolstered this I army. I will save my money next turn <laughs> so that we can put them into that force. By the light of Elbereth, like the wind. So I'm now going to push and take Austin Ed Hill back from the Wild Men Dunland. They're pushing more forces up here. Uh, Moria should have recruited some units for me now. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to send them down as well to bolster this army so it becomes another force in its own right. So we are all good. Um, as I said, building up these guys, replenishing and what have you, retraining as many as I can. And then we'll get ready to push out shortly. Uh, we've got these guys which I'm going to send to Isengard. And mm, no, I'm going to leave those guys there to defend Helm's Deep. And I think that's where I'm going to end it for now. We're going to see what Mordor does, or if not, I'll push up and attack them. And Rohan's down here. So their new capital. Sorting themselves out now. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this part. Please do check out all the various things that I ask you to check out in this video. And again, I'll be live streaming tomorrow night. Video about the live stream will be up early tomorrow morning, so check that out. Uh, and all the other stuff. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Comment, subscribe. See you all again soon. Ciao for now.